So what's your worldview? What's your belief system? What's the authority by which you determine uh, what life's all about? You know, there's about uh, 850 million people in the world that call themselves Hindus, and uh, they go back to philosophical teachings 2500 BC, the Vedas, the Upanishads. Um, there's over 600 million people that call themselves Buddhists, and uh, they go back to the teachings of the first Buddha in about 500 BC, uh, a lot of which are written down in the, the Pali Canon. Uh, we have over a billion people that call themselves Muslims today, and they follow the teachings of Muhammad and the Quran, written about you know, 600 AD. Um, we've got uh, uh, followers of uh, Mormonism, who follow the writings of Joseph Smith, written down about eight, 1830 AD. Uh, Charles Taze Russell and the Jehovah's Witnesses, he wrote uh, his commentaries on the Bible in the late 1800s. Uh, L. Ron Hubbard and Scientology. Um, what is the authority by which you view the world? Um, is it a guru? Is it some teacher? Uh, is it a pastor? You know, be real careful because what's the authority by which they're teaching you? Maybe your worldview is based totally on your own brain. You know, six and a half billion people in the world today, and uh, that's where I was. I built my worldview on my own thinking, my own observations of everything kind of gets a little silly at one point that I'm somehow going to create my own worldview without any other outside authorities. Ultimately, we all have to understand where our worldview lies. What is the foundation for what we believe? Sure, you test it. Sure, you observe. Sure, you experience. But what is the timeless truth or untruth that you're basing your belief system on?